Chad's government and dozens of opposition groups started peace talks on Sunday in Doha. Some 44 armed rebel and opposition groups were invited as a first step towards ending a rebellion and holding elections in the country. With such high stakes, the AU Commission had urged both parties to reach an agreement. The change in history, which has been punctuated by conferences, attempts at reconciliation and unfulfilled agreements, is well known to all of you. In 60 years, almost the age of our contemporary state, Chad experienced armed conflict, destruction and lost opportunities for rebirth. Isn't it about time to stop this madness of nihilism and absolute absurdity? In the framework presented by Chad's leader, the talks are a prelude to national dialogue due to start in May. His prime minister insisted peace needed to be achieved. Peace requires more courage and greatness than war. To be able to activate the inner trigger of self-transcendence, to overcome the desire for revenge and resentment requires more courage than war. In short, real courage does not mean brandishing your weapon to dominate, but to take the risk to lay it down in order to discuss. The process should last several days. The peace talks are crucial, and according to Libya's foreign minister, it will improve stability and help fight terrorism in the Sahel region.